Not a yeah. single person from Netflix, not a single person from Shondaland since I have had two psychotic breaks um, from that show have even contacted me or emailed me to ask me if I'm okay. Bridgerton actress Ruby Barker is calling out Netflix. Appearing on the October 28th episode of Oxford University's Loaf podcast, the 26-year-old claims the streaming giant, along with production company Shondaland, failed to support her after she had two psychotic breaks. Immediately after I started shooting Bridgerton, okay. and then a year later went back into hospital, which is the hospitalization that everybody knows about because that's the one that I spoke publicly mm -hmm. about. Ruby, who played the Featherington family's cousin, Marina Thompson, was a series regular on season one of Bridgerton and returned as a guest star for season two. It was a really tormenting place for me to be because my character mm -hmm. was like, you know, very alienated, very mm. ostracized, um, on her own, um, under these horrible circumstances. She says her first psychotic break happened in 2019 after she wrapped the show's first season. I went into hospital the first time a week after I finished shooting. And um, obviously the show on the run up to the show coming out um, I was just then coming out of hospital because it took like a year in the edit. Um, my Instagram following was going up. I had all of these engagements to do. My life was changing drastically overnight. And yet there was still no support and there still hasn't been any support. Ruby, who has since become a face for mental health, says despite hers deteriorating, she was, quote, trying really, really hard to act like it was okay. It's almost like I had this kind of metaphorical invisible gun to my head. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. To literally, oh, to, to, you... to sell this show because this show's bubbly and fun and all of these things. I don't want to come out and poo poo on that because then I might never work again. <laughs> yeah, you've got this like, it's like contrasting forces going on, I feel. Yeah. E! News has reached out to Netflix, to Shonda Rhimes, and Shondaland for comment and has not heard back.